Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Denver again. And today I'm really excited because I'm gonna continue the videos with the XR Toolkit. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to actually set up the continuous move provider and also the continuous turn provider. In the previous videos, I showed you how the snap functionality works. In this video, it's going to work more as a player controller that is basically going to allow you to move in a smooth manner. It's going to make you sick, but it's actually going to allow you to create games. If your game fits the style, then you may want to use this mechanic. So let's go ahead and jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to add the continuous movement and also the turning components. So let's go ahead and create a new scene so that we can do everything from scratch. I'm gonna go ahead and click on scene. This one's gonna be, we can just say a smooth movement and turn demo. Let's go ahead and select that, double click it to open it. And I'm gonna remove the main camera now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at my prefabs here. We're gonna be adding a couple of prefabs. One of them is gonna be the floor. That way we can see, you know, we have a floor to walk on it and also run. And the other thing that I'm gonna add is going to be the XR rig demo. Let's go ahead and add it and drop it here. And then we are going to be offsetting these. Let's go ahead and offset it to one. And then we have the floor at 0.5. That way we have basically the floor right beneath the, the XR rig demo. Then what I'm gonna do is I think we need to do basically make it look better, right? We're gonna go ahead and add, let's go ahead and add a prop. We can add the prop, that prop there, and then it's gonna go ahead and rotate it. You can have it right there. And then I'm gonna add a couple of them in here. And let's just go ahead and decorate the scene so that it doesn't look as empty and boring. We can add this one right over here. We can just keep that one rotated like that. And then perhaps this one over here. I think that, I think that's enough. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to also add a couple of teleport anchors. I'm gonna add one there, perhaps one here, maybe one over here next to the prop, and then one here, one here, and I'll just add a couple of them in random locations. We can just have one close to the actual XR rig. Excellent, so I think that's good. And then let's go ahead and change our lighting here. It's gonna be the auto generate lighting so that everything looks better. And then I'm also going to change the intensity I think I did 1.5 when I was setting this up initially, and I think that it's going to look better. Let's go ahead and go into our game view. I think that looks good. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do what we wanted to do for this tutorial, right? We wanna look at how we can set that continuous movement. So if we go into the XR rig demo, you're gonna see that we have what, we, what I covered before in previous videos, which is the snap turn provider. And we also have a locomotion system, teleporting provider, and also the XR rig. Just make sure that you look at my previous videos because I cover how this ones work. So the snap turn provider is going to basically do a turn on, it's gonna look like a snap, right? Like we're rotating and it's not in a continuous manner. So if we wanted to do a continuous, you're gonna see there's a couple of components here that are new. So one of them is gonna be the continuous turn provider and it's gonna have a default turn speed. So I would recommend changing this. I'm gonna change it to 120 so that you guys can see how fast we can rotate. If you want it at 60 or at a lower number, you can also change that. And then the continuous move provider is gonna be the one that is gonna allow us to move, right? So the default speed is gonna be set to one. I'm gonna change it to three. Again, if you wanna change that to a different value, you can change that. And then the other cool thing is that this now has a character controller. The previous videos, I show you how to create a player controller and I kind of did a hack in order to, ma to make that work. So now Unity is shipping this with the character controller on it which is actually gonna be more correct, right? They implemented it. It has all the implementation that comes out of the box with the package, which is a continuous term provider and also the mode provider. So just know that this now has a character controller in it. And then the last change that we're gonna to have to make is going to be on the locomotion scheme manager. So just go ahead and change the move scheme to be continuous and also the turn style to be continuous. The cool thing with this is you could also have the snap, you know, the snap providers in here and if you wanted to use a continuous and toggle that, you can basically just you know, reference to the script and then change that programmatically if you wanted to change that programmatically, which in fact, the, the Unity examples that I'm using right now has, that, has those features implemented. So if you wanted to use that, you can look at how it's implemented. So now that we have this set up and we have you know, the props, we have the teleports, let's go ahead and run these on my Oculus Quest and see how that behaves. All right guys, so it looks like I forgot to add one component and that is going to be the input action manager. So let's go ahead and get it added. Otherwise, the controllers are not going to respond to my movement. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add a new empty game object. It's gonna be input action manager. 
And then if we go into our component, let's go ahead and select that. And I'm also going to be changing the size of this. It's going to be set to a one. And we need to reference the XR, XRI default input actions. This is basically what comes out of the package. So if I go into the package manager and you look at the XR interactions, you're going to see that I have this component called default input actions, which is basically binding everything and all the controls that I have on my Oculus Quest. So now that I have that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and rename this and then move it up. And now that that is set up, we should be able to run this. Let me go ahead and try it. I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. Okay, so it looks like the controllers are now working. We can see the race. We can see how my movement is affecting. I'm also able to move around, so I can actually do that. Let's see if we can do a, a rotation, a smooth rotation. Looks like that's now working as well. What if I wanted to move and rotate at the same time? That is also working fine. What if I wanted to teleport with the right controller? What if I wanted to teleport with the left controller? can also do that. Let's so actually do one that is further away from us. So we can do, can do that one over there. There we go. Maybe I'll just get a little closer. There we go. I'll do that one as well. And everything is working. So movement is working. The rotation is working and then teleporting. So it's everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any questions about how to set this up, please let me know in the comments. Thank you.